Welcome everyone. It is Sandra Alexei from Game Changer. Game on. It's the new model of a relationship book. It's all about self-discovery. You can see where to, to get it. Um, and if you go underneath, um, it shows my link to my website, my personal muse. I'm a business and spiritual coach, astrologer, uh, numerologist, do a lot of things. You can check the, the um, website. Anyway, um, what I want to do is I want to thank you for showing up during these very transformative, testy, high anxiety, frustrating times for a lot of people. It's the energy. The energy is a very, can be disruptive. Mars going direct. I mean, now it all started to come out. Okay. Um, I follow the planetary cycles and the consciousness of, of all the planets and the moon. Okay. And so today we're going to start a new cycle. I wanted to put it up a little bit earlier for you um, because it'll give you some things to think about what you're moving into. We're moving to the end of this new decade and it's been a huge shift. We're moving from third dimensional to fifth dimensional. We have a lot of physical um, different uh, challenges and, and things that we're going through and changes. Okay. And collectively we are also, and so there is We've been locked down. There's many things going on. But the bottom line is I'll be doing a lot of stuff December the 20th. We're lightening up and we're moving. And this is all about aligning with the divine and getting in touch with spirit. Okay? Basically, that's it. And so you've had to say, who do I trust? What's happening? What's going on? Okay? And so now we get a new moon. Okay, and are you ready? Because it's a new cycle, new beginnings, and November the 14th and 15th. Now, this is powerful because this is a new supermoon and it is at 23 degrees of Scorpio. It symbolizes, it's a symbol of new beginnings, and that's ruled by Pluto and Mars, the two planets holding the power this week. An incredible opportunity during these transformative, changing and chaotic times to use this powerful astrological energy for manifesting. This is the third supermoon in a row, which means it's close to Earth and tends to be highly charged with intense emotions. Now, Scorpio is the most powerful and intense sign in the zodiac and digs up secrets as needs to get to the bottom of everything. Definitely not superficial, very detective-like, okay? Which is what's happening right now in the election process. It has the power to regenerate, die, and be reborn. The main theme is lighting, light, lighting up so we can see clarity, truth, awakening, and disclosure. Expect a lot of disclosures during 2021 also. Be prepared for powerful dreams and lots of downloads. You awaken and just know things. So Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, which is the modern ruler and all about transformation, the phoenix. It is also ruled by Mars, the ancient ruler, which is more about animal gut reaction, instincts, impulses, and anger. The Scorpio new moon energy is all about clarity and focus, especially now that Mercury and Mars are both direct and things are moving ahead. The collective is still heavy chaos and turmoil, and your work is to rise above and detach, not get caught in the drama as things are unfolding. Stay neutral, be aware, mindful, observant, and be the witness and watch as everything unfolds in divine time. And you are meant to have mastery on your own life and be cognizant about where are you focusing your energy into your creations. With the Pluto-Jupiter energies, it's about finding 
deeper meaning and purpose in your life. Consider what is next in your life after all the chaos and transformation of 2020. Beware of personal delusion, illusion, deception, and fogginess as you may be shocked by the, at all the disclosures and not be able to accept the truth. As you process old beliefs and release them, you may be rattled to the core and your saving grace is again to connect and align with source and divine as you are. Be very cognizant of your thoughts and emotions as they're going to be heightened on this Scorpio moon, very intense. Be your own observer and witness and rather than react, respond as we are ascending and our frequency and vibration is broadcasting and creating our future, our individual futures. No victim consciousness, self-responsibility, maturity and mastery allows you to create and manifest new moons manifesting. 2020 has been a huge transformative wake-up call and now you can use the wisdom and tools to create momentum in your life. As the veil is thinner and more powerful, you have a magnificent opportunity to create a fabulous future. We all have the ability to start anew. The hard thing is we have to let things go. And so you're required to let go of everything and everybody that does not serve your higher purpose. The benefit has to be to all involved. You need to practice the universal law of non-interference and do your own work. So no codependency, no energy vampires, host center parasites, as you will miss your special window of opportunity. Life is about free will to make personal choices when it comes to your actions and behavior, even though we all have our personal destiny. There will be chaos, negativity, and bad news as we are in process of purging, cleaning the corruption, greed, deceit, lies, and the evil darkness that is being transformed by the light. You recognize it. However, do not get stuck in the drama. It is now time for advancement as life in life as you have been awakening to self and truth. There will be many opportunities for growth and expansion in the world as consciousness is always seeking advancement. Waking up is about becoming more conscious as we ascend and Scorpio is the truth seeker and rules emotional truth as we see the truth being revealed. So grand new beginning, plan, planet, uh, the new seeds, of intentions. Interesting, Scorpio is about money, which is the eighth house, and the polar opposite is Taurus, which is the second house, which is money, worth, and value. So there may be some great news for resources. You are your resource also. Focus on what you want with your intentions, not the challenge, the solution. You can gain prosperity if you go after it, as the universe will bring you what you want, your dharma. You are required to align with the divine and source. And when you are, you usually are in purpose and know. So get ready for a new adventure. As one door closes, another opens. As you step into a new reality, you have to be the one to have clarity and be ready to move forward and embrace the change. You need to leave the old reality as you embrace the new, and it can be scary. This is where you have to have the courage and be bold. Go for it. The path will be revealed once you make the decision. Synchronicities, many coincidences, as the divine is now guiding. You've let go of the ego. Structure, plans, integrity, and goals, not delusions. How do you know? You will have a deeper understanding and be given the next steps because you are wiser and more mature with a higher consciousness if you did the work required in 2020. The question, what have I learned as I may have lost a lot, let go of a lot, and I'm ready for the new adventure? We really never lose through the transformation. It just can be very inconvenient. And through your different life choices, hopefully you've learned to listen to self as you are aligned with source and divine no one else. 
When you think of your losses, it usually is because you trusted and listened to someone else. And then this super new moon begins the eclipse season as we have a prenumbral lunar lunar eclipse on November 30th at 8 degrees of Gemini. A turning point for this year as we have released, have new goals, and there is a consciousness of maturity, seriousness, and wisdom as you move ahead. Incredible movement when you are consciously aware and tuned in, aligned with the divine and source. It is about purpose your dharma, not your ego. Use the energies of this powerful, intense Scorpio super new moon to set up how you end 2020 on your own terms. Sovereignty, personal mastery, personal power. Commit to higher levels of integrity and self-respect, rising your vibration and frequency. And thank you so much for taking the time. Again, check out Game Changer. It makes a great gift. It's an audio and you can order on Amazon. And um, I would really appreciate if you would like, if you would share, if you would comment. And there is um, a little contest running. So for every month, I give one uh, personal mini reading And so you can put your name in the comment section, and then at the end of November, I will draw. So many blessings, much love, and be open to this new moon.